All right, my name's Captain David Edens. Um, I own Flycast Charters in St. Simons Island, Georgia. And I specialize in fishing for, sight fishing for redfish in the Golden Isles of Georgia. We are going to tie, what's this fly called? This is called the St. Simon Scampi. And it was named by a good friend of mine in Florida, down in Miami. So we start with a base of thread. I'm using mono thread. And we tie the eyes on right at the top of the hook bend on this one. So this is a, this kind of builds upon the success of the uh, Prawn's Revenge. But it's a little bit different tie and incorporates a few different few different things. Again, this imitates the little small shrimp that you see in the summer and in the winter on the flats. We take um, orange and black barred rubber leg, tie it in in front of the eyes, just a couple of wraps. Try to get it even. Bring it underneath the eyes, a couple of wraps, a couple more wraps underneath the eyes. And I go underneath it to, to keep them up a little bit. And back in front of the eyes. About 10 or 15 strands of crystal flash to form the body and the tail. Stagger the ends of the crystal flash. Over the top of the eye, about a hook shank length, maybe a little bit longer. Tie it in front, then I'll come underneath the eyes. I'll tie over it to hold it down. I'm going to take the Polish chenille, tie the Polish chenille in. Take the crystal flash, wrap the crystal flash around the thread two or three times to reinforce your body. Wrap it forward, kind of needs itself up. Hold on to both the thread and the crystal flash. And as you do that, the crystal flash continues to wind around the thread and it continues to put a reinforced body. If you simply wrap the body with crystal flash after the first fish, it's going to fall apart on you. And tie it off. Take your polar chenille, palmer it forward. Sweeping the fibers back. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Right. Okay. I mean, I, 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 this provides a lot of flash and a tremendous amount of movement to the fly. Tie it off. Oh, these patterns can be found on my website, www.flycastcharters.com. So, got photographs, tying instructions, and material list on the website for this. Tie it off so it flares back. Do a quick, quick whip finish. All right, now we got basically the basic part of the fly tie. Then we're going to flip it over. We're going to take a barred, a black and orange barred zonker strip. About two inches long. We've got the fly flipped over in the bat and the vise. I do like wetting it to control it. About a quarter of an inch. Beyond the hook, pierce the leather on the hook, pull it down tight, pull it down against the hook bend, 
and pull it tight across the body of the fly. Do a pinch technique to keep it on top. Wrap it in. Take three or four strands of, two or three strands of crystal flash. I like crystal flash. I think fish like crystal flash. Double it over. Cut your double part. Tie it in about halfway. Again, your pinch technique. Take your K flash back. Tie a, as neat a thread head as you can. Whip finish. This baby is a redfish killer. It's got everything a redfish likes. It's got the color. It's got the flash. It's got the movement. Little Sally Hansen's. It's got the shrimp antenna. You can tie it with lead eyes to fish it deep, or like we did with the uh, brass bead chain eyes. And I like the big three millimeter brass bead chain eyes. I think that makes a big difference. There you go, buddy. St. Simon Scampi.